Says she worked for DoDash. DoDash ain't making no hey money. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I know you guys miss me. I miss you guys too. I know I've been MIA child, but life been life been, and I've just been throwing them punches. Yeah, I'm fighting for my life. Y'all killing me with this. Cause you ain't finna get me down, boo boo. You ain't. But excuse my background, we got everything, well not everything, but majority of the house packed up because we're getting ready to move in two weeks. And that's been hectic. I got extra bills and that's been hectic. Like I say on all my videos, everything's so damn expensive. I don't want to work anymore because I work and I'm working every day very hard and I never had money, fucking shit. So, everything is expensive, mother. So, I've been working my behind off. But y'all, I just been like, really just in a, like a real funk. I've been laying on the couch. I have a two bedroom townhome. So it's no excuse for me to be laying on the couch. But that's how depression seeps in sometimes. And it really eats at you. And I didn't realize how depressed I was. Like, I looked at my toes. I polished my toes about, three months ago that's not even me and it looked like I've been kicking the car back you know I've been laying on the couch my toes look crazy I just recently put these two little braids in my head y'all y'all should have seen my head for the last three months like I've been really just down and depressed because I couldn't figure out like where the negativity was coming from and now that I found out what it is I'm not gonna talk about it because I don't want to get this person any any airplay because what they did to me was so disgusting that it's not even worth me even going into detail about it but it did knock me down and i feel a lot better i'm up i'm ready i've been working doing my little thing i just feel like i'm getting back to me so today what i want to do is just do some things for myself um I probably get a perm. I probably get some nail polish. I probably get some get some um, stuff for a facial, and just like little simple stuff. I'm real simple, like you know, I don't need like um, Chanel face mask and all this blah, 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 whatever brands they use or whatever. I'm real simple, real natural, and simple things make me happy, like doing my toenails so when i slide my foot in my sandal to be cute i need to perm my hair because i haven't had a perm in months like oh my god and i need to shave i need to do a lot of stuff i'm pretty sure i look like a wolf in there i said in there i mean down in there i'm pretty sure i do and i shave my legs i just need to get back to me you feel what i'm saying i need to clean up and i just need to put stuff where it needs to go because me when i'm more when i have stuff organized i'm way more better like i feel like i just do so much better when stuff is organized you feel me but guys i do miss you guys it is going to be more content coming out but i just had to take i just really had to take some time to myself and figure out where was this negative ball of like bullshit was coming from and i figured it out and it hurt me so bad y'all to where i just couldn't do anything but now that i know what exactly it is now i can get back to me and get myself back on track so i hope you guys stick around for this video it's time to reset <laughs> 
There was once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Sneaking looks up and down from across the room Damn, what a hell of a view I feel good, you look great I like you, I can't wait A first time, a first day You're so fine, I'm so late You sip wine, I drink straight Don't waste time to my place I feel my heart erase So catch me if I fall So guys, I want to show you guys my little perfume collection. I picked out six of my favorite fragrances. And yeah, so I'm going to show you guys like my fragrances that I like. I really, really like. I really, really enjoy these fragrances. I've had them for years. They are so... Um, what's the word? Like they, you don't have to spray them on a lot. It's just with one or two pumps. Like I'm really a perfume, perfume girl. I like body sprays, just like when I get out the shower or you know, just to freshen up. Just a little scent, real quick. But like I'm really a perfume fanatic. I love perfumes. I have a lot of perfumes. But I'm gonna show you guys six of my perfumes that I enjoy and I love the scents. So guys, the first perfume I'm going to show you guys is Joy Dior. Now this perfume is real constant. I don't know if the word is concentrated, but it's real st strong. That's the word. This is really, really strong. So what you want to do is just like one, two, you know what I'm saying? And it smells really, 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 really good. And it's probably like $200 a bottle. So if you're interested in this perfume, you can get it from Macy's. It's like $180 to $200 a bottle for this size, you know. And I've had this, this perfume for about three or four years. And like, look how much I've used. Because you only need a little bit. It's really strong. Then I have this one. I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but I'm going to try. I think it's called Mundane. Mundane. It's giving like a vanilla, like caramel scent. Like it smells really good. And it's also giving like a small masculine scent, like a vanilla caramel masculine scent. It's real good. You will love this. I'm not sure how much this is. This was a gift. But it smells really good and it's one of my favorites. Also, I have Coach. This is not, it's not one of my favorites, but it smells good. You know, it's a bit, you know, someone gave me this, but it smells really good. Then I have, oh, I don't want to show you that one yet. I have YSL. I have YSL and you can see it's almost gone because this is like one of my favorite perfumes. It smells so good you can wear this uh, in the night you can wear this at the club you can wear this like at a meeting you can wear this to work it smells so good it's like a i want to say it's like a low-key masculine scent but it's kind of like flowery a little bit but it smells so good but you can get this it's like this was like maybe i think 150 for this bottle i'm not sure it's a gift as well um I also have Chanel 5, and she smells so, so good. I love to put on Chanel 5 at any time. She smells so good. It makes you smell really, 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 really clean. I love Chanel 5, and you can get that probably like $150 to $200 a bottle for that size. Um, I showed y'all everything. Oh, this is the last one I'm going to show y'all because this is my absolute, absolute favorite. 
if I'm going somewhere special, if I'm going somewhere where I feel like I just want to feel myself, this is my go-to. And it is Coco Chanel Mademoiselle. I've been wearing this fragrance for years. This is my absolute favorite fragrance. It is a all-purpose scent, okay? And you can get this for like maybe $200 at the mall and Macy's, but oh my God, I love this scent. Like... When I want to do, well, when I want to go and be that girl, I'm putting on me some Mademoiselle. Or I might put on me some Coco Chanel 5. Them too. But all the scents smell so good, y'all. But those two are my absolute favorites. So, yeah, guys, I'm feeling good. So, I said, let me show them my little perfume collection. So, that was my collection, guys. So, you guys stay tuned. Stop trying to be what everybody else want you to be. You got to let that go. Because I'm going to tell you right now, like, it's going to be some people that you're going to encounter that no matter what it is that you do, you're never going to be able to satisfy those people. When people have already made up their mind about you and the person that you are, there's nothing that you can say or that you're going to be able to do that's going to change what it is that they feel. And the more that you work on trying to change who they, how they feel about you, what they think about you, you know what I'm saying, how they behaving and whatnot, the only thing that you're going to be doing is draining yourself wearing yourself out people are always going to have something to say and that's going to be good bad or indifferent you can never ever 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 please everybody understand that you're going to always have somebody that's going to try to kick against whatever it is that you got going on especially pay attention to what i'm about to say to you especially when you are trying to do the right thing you become a threat you begin up under the most attacks when you start trying to do the right thing as long as you're walking around and you're ignorant as long as you're not reading you're not fasting you're not praying you're not actively working on yourself if as long as you are okay with the bare minimum and you're letting everything slide and you're being nice and you're just giving everybody everything that they want from you nobody is ever going to have the issue with you nobody's ever going to have a complaint about you why because you're giving them everything that they want you do not become a problem for folk until you start prioritizing yourself good morning guys it is thursday morning guys it is cold and rainy in florida I don't know where this cold came from out of nowhere, y'all. I am on my way to my hair client, guys. So you guys stay tuned. I hopefully can get a couple clips from my hair client. And yeah. So I just wanted to check in with you guys really fast. And yeah. I'm gonna see you guys in the next clip. <laughs> favorite pizza place in wellington if you guys are in the wellington area make sure you guys come and check out pizza parlor their pizza is really good and it's been a while since i've seen a pizza place that um sell the single slices they see they sell the single slices and that's what i'm about to get y'all so yeah i'm at my pizza spot okay <laughs> But you guys stay tuned. Let me go in here and get me a slice. Y'all remember that part on the pose when the boy was like, I'm going to take you to get a slice and a stroll. Okay. That's what I'm about to do. A slice and a stroll. Okay. Okay guys, I got my slice and I want to show you guys how big it is. They give you one slice of pizza and you know we balling on the budget y'all. So they gave me, look how big this slice is. That's a big ass slice of pizza. 
So they gave me one slice of pizza in my beverage and it all came up to $6.41. And I think that was really good for this big ass slice of pizza and a drink. So y'all, I'm finna enjoy this and then I'm finna get ready to head out. Hey guys, so this is my Christmas gift to myself, an iPhone 15. Guys, I traded it in from Metro to Verizon, so I'm with Verizon now, guys, and I am super satisfied. I did go to the hair store and get the perm and the nail polish, but I didn't have time to pick up the camera, so in this next clip, I'm gonna show you my hair. Hey guys, so I did perm my hair, guys, and I am back, honey okay and i did do my little nails real quick y'all like my nails they press holes they real cute ain't they seven out of nine okay but let me show y'all the back my hair has grown look at the back y'all y'all see how long it's gotten in the back it's real nice i flat ironed it well first of all i permed it i wrapped it i flat ironed it and I did a little style. I told y'all I'm simple. Just a quick little style right quick. Just wanted to get back to looking like somebody because I had my two little slave braids for a long time. And like I told y'all in the beginning of the video, I've been feeling real funky. But I figured it out and I'm good now. Well, really I'm not good. I'm not gonna hold you guys, but I'm better, if that makes sense. I'm better and I feel good like I perm my hair I got my nails on child and I feel good I look good and you know the motto when you feel good and you look good you what you do great so guys let me finish doing what I was doing I just want to get on camera real quick and show you guys the little do real quick I told you guys I'm really simple not really i do get in my my turn up. i keep my foot on their neck now don't get it messed up but i'm real simple i just wanted to look like something again because i've been laying on this couch depressed going through the motions and this last two weeks i've just been up working trying to get my get me back together because i'm deserving of a good happy life and that's what i'm going after so right now i'm gonna get ready to go and work a little bit but you guys stay tuned to the vlog because you never know what's coming up next but get into these nails though get into these nails okay 7.99 hair store perm seven dollars and all you gotta do is, all i did was flat iron my hair real simple giving cuteness and yeah so you guys stay tuned y'all when i say i'm fucked up about this song Merry Christmas, guys. I'm on my way to go see my best friend. I'm actually here. I'm telling you I'm on my way. But I'm finna go in here and see my best friend. I haven't seen him in years. <clears throat> he moved away like years ago to, um, is it uh, North Carolina? Yeah, North Carolina. So I'm getting ready to go see him, y'all. So y'all stay tuned. If he want to get on the camera, I'm going to show him. But today is Christmas Day, guys. So tis the season to be jolly. <laughs> For you, I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Sneaking looks up and down from across the room Damn, what a hell of a view I feel good, you look great I like you, I can't wait A first time, a first day You're so fine, I'm so late You sip wine, I drink straight So guys, I walked 
walking to this restaurant and I thought this was a really cute way to ask for a tip. <laughs> also, I went into Cold Stone and oh my God, y'all, I am so fat. But look at the cakes, the ice cream sandwiches. Oh, oh my God, this is just heaven. I have such a sweet tooth at night. I need to get the hell up out of here. Oh my God. <laughs> And of course, we can't go through the day without getting a little work in. Okay, we're going to do a little work. One thing about it, we're going to get paid. Okay. Yes, sir. We're going to drop your food right here. Cha-ching. Okay. Child, they said she worked for DoDash. DoDash ain't making no money. What they ain't? What they ain't, girl? This ain't even a wheat worth. What they ain't? Okay. The point is, y'all, is no matter what kind of hustle you got, as long as you put your muscle into it, you gonna make it. Period. Oh shit, it look like somebody fireworks or something got on fire. What the fuck? There's a garbage can on fire. Damn. I'm out of town, thugging with my round. <laughs> Jasmine. Jasmine. J hey, oh, so you really got your ass to me? You really got your butt to me? See, I'm out of town. We out here sitting down, chilling. Thugging with my rounds. Come here. Say hi to the vlog. Come here. Jasmine, come here, say hi. Ugh. Just my luck. Try it one flat. So oh, after I decided to get my tire fixed, guys, I did go and get me some buffalo pizza from that same place I showed you guys earlier in the video. Mmm, don't it look so good, y'all? Mmm, 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 mmm. Oh my God, they knocked this man clean off the fucking bike. His beer's in the road. Where is he? Damn, he knocked him off that bike. I don't even know where he went in. Jesus Christ, they knocked this man off this bike. Him and his little Coronas and shit. Jesus. This shit. Oh my God. Hey guys. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. I hope you guys enjoyed my video, guys. I am door dashing right now, so you know I'm finna get right to it. I need some money. I gotta pay these bills, honey, and I gotta save. But guys, I just wanted to close this video out, guys, with just saying, like, just stay prayed up. Everybody in this world is going through so much shit, and it's just so crazy. It seems like everybody in the whole is going through so much shit. People speeding. People not saying thank you. People not saying excuse me. People are in a rush. People had the worst attitudes. People have lost their fucking mind. I don't know if it's something in the water. I don't know if it's something in the air. But make sure you guys stay careful and make sure you guys reset. Just reset. And then it doesn't take expensive things to reset. You can mentally reset. You can go home and wash your hair, do your nails. You can do several things that make you feel good and make you feel back as yourself because this world back to yourself back to yourself it'll make you feel back to yourself because this world has really lost its mind like imposter syndrome is really fucking real narcissistic personality disorder is really fucking real the devil is really fucking real and evil do exist out here like, when I grew up as a child, I don't know why I felt like I was untouchable, like, stuff can't touch me and stuff. Like, people is really 
crazy out here i like i said like the old times your grandmother used to say revelations revelations is outside y'all so make sure you guys just stay positive or try to stay positive and in the midst of all the negative stuff y'all see online and out here in the world try to be the positive source in the midst of all that bullshit you feel me like if you see nothing but negativity coming down your line just be try to be more positive like okay i see that negative so let me pop let me post something positive like good morning good afternoon how are you guys like give people compliments because it's just so dark nowadays like people just do not care like people will sit around you and do what they have to do to get what they could they, to get what they want out of you and after they get what they want out of you they just dis you know, they dispose of you like it's nothing. Nobody cares about your problems no more, sir. So just stop talking about them. You know what I'm saying? Just try to do the best you can and get yourself up and do, you know, better in life. Because nobody gives a damn about your problems. I had to really realize that. I sat down and used to talk about my problems, my past traumas, things that went on in my life, my past, my present, my future. I used to talk about all that shit with people, but with certain people. And at the end of the day nobody can help you or nobody really cares you know what i'm saying and it's not their place to you know jump the gun and just do everything for you it's just like as an adult you want to be mindful of the information that you're giving out and what you're putting out because eventually when you look around nobody's going to respect you because every time you come around it's a sob story it's this going on, that going on. You you become a, a total negative person and you don't even realize it. You just basically want somebody to hear you out. You want a companion and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, you making people not want to be around you because nobody wants to be around somebody who has always has problems. Nobody wants to be around somebody that's always blaming somebody for something. Nobody wants to be around somebody who doesn't have any emotion. So it has to be up to you to pick yourself up and get yourself together and just do that shit. Like, I know it's hard out here, but try to be more kind. Try to be more patient because people have lost their damn mind out here, y'all, on some real shit. But, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I feel so much freaking better. I got to go home and do my hair. I got my little pony going because I'm working today. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys can take something from this video, and I hope you guys be blessed, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. <laughs>